Hey world, I'm Josh. And I'm Lauren. Welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stuff. Coffee edition. Today we are trying from Four Barrel Coffee. Cue the Four Barrel merchandise. Four Barrel Mug. We are trying the Rwanda Musabiyamana. B-I-M-U-S-A-B-I-Y-M-A-N-A. -A -A. Yeah. You have to practically be born in Africa to... <laughs> know what coffee you're drinking. I guess that's the last name because it says Justin Musa, yeah, and his Gihombo neighbors wow. contribute bourbon to this varietal coffee uh, processed at his revitalized mill, resulting in wild fig flavors and an apple bottom fragrance. Why did I? I was going to say preference. Four Barrel <laughs> is from um, San Francisco. I've been wanting to go there since uh, I saw Hunty, Hunter Pence and Lexi Pence now go there. Uh, Lauren's mom went and got us the mug. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mom. Cool art. Seems like a lot of uh, coffee people are like secretly dark metal heads like us. Right. You got that Intelligentsia mug, that our shirt with the black coffee. Mm -hmm. That thing's kind of death's head moth sounds on lambs thing. my favorite shirt. Let's see, Mr. Box says that uh, the cup is bright, complex, and delicate with notes of dried fruit and fig and a fragrant floral aroma. Hey, if you want to help us out and you want to help yourself out, uh, use code Z295, Z295 on Mr. Box. You get $10 off your subscription and we'll get $10 on ours. And the reason I'm stalling is to try to get this coffee to cool down. But, without even trying it, I can tell you it's the best coffee I've had this year. At least the best hot coffee. Um, it's at 132 right now. We did have some cold brew at Public Us in Las Vegas that was also fan friggin tastic but I have no idea what kind of coffee it was. What do you think of this? This, is, this really is the best coffee that we've had so far. I have to say, this is really good. It's not too acidic, but it's got a lot of flavor to it. It's got a lot of flavor. Yeah, it really is a complex cup. And it's not what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, it's just Josh. He just like, if you've been watching, he, uh, he just likes fruity uh, natural processed stuff. Well, I don't know how this was processed. I don't think it was natural processed. I feel like if it were, <laughs> it would say... Yeah, it actually, that's surprising that Four Barrel doesn't actually tell you. But anyway, um, it's just an incredibly hard, it's hard to describe, and it's a really, really good cup. Um, I want to say, like, it's like almost sour without being sour, like fermented almost. Yeah. Um, in a good way, in a very, I know that doesn't make necessarily sound good, but in a good way. Um, this has been in the freezer the whole time. And it's but I kept think, really well. Well, I think I figured out what you gotta do. Hmm. Put it in a Ziploc bag, got out all the air, put it in an airtight container, that Chefalon one that we got, um, for free, and we reviewed to check the reviews, and then I put that in the freezer. And then when I get out the coffee and grind it, I immediately, once I've measured out how much I need, I immediately put it back in the bag and back in the freezer. So it almost, it doesn't cool down much. So I think that's the key to keeping it, it really good because this has kept its flavor. It's kept well. It's only about <clears throat> a month old at this point, but I got it right before Lauren about two weeks before Lauren got back and I didn't want it sitting out in the air uh, for two weeks and what now has turned out to be a month because yep because we have a lot of coffee <clears throat> we did now we're back down to our drags we got two I got this and some the next one from Mr. Box Quills coffee but anyway this is a really good cup it's freaking amazing yeah you should check out Four Barrel because they're great if you can still get your hand on this one 
it's just, it's not sweet. It's not fruity, really. If you want, I don't, because I really don't think dried fruits are, like, super fruity. But I don't know that I completely agree with that assessment, either. It's sort of like a underripe pear or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have a kitty visitor right now. Yeah, I keep getting hair in my cup. But, um... No complaints whatsoever. Hard to describe flavor. It's one that's worth trying because it's not what you're used to. And it could be that Rwandan coffees, you don't come across those all that often. Yeah. Kitty cat. <laughs> you want a kitty cat coffee? He says, no, I don't want a coffee. I don't like coffee and butter cake. This is no touchy. He formerly no touchy. Yeah, now we just call him touchy because when he was younger, you he couldn't touch him at all. No petting, nothing. He hated it. Now he loves love. Now he's sitting in my lap, purring his little face off, <laughs> without a care in the world. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> you big boy. Yes, you are. So anyway, you're my, you're my friend. This is a unique, hard to describe cup of coffee that is worth trying. I don't think even if you end up not liking it, you'd be disappointed for the sake of trying something different. Yeah. So, we're really terrible at getting videos out in a timely fashion. So maybe I'll post this on our Instagram, which is YouTube as well, so that you at least have a chance at getting it, maybe. Other than that, um, it could be six months before this video is actually right. out. Right. Our uh, video timeline is a little different. Yeah. So anyway, so far, best coffee of 2017. Absolutely. And thanks for watching. Tell us what to try next. And leave a comment down below. And subscribe and stuff.